Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Level Training. This is our lesson 3 if you compare with the Advanced Level Training. But as an overall Tricentis Tosca Automation Training, it's a lesson 18. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can you link automated test cases to your requirements by using Tricentis Tosca latest version 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. So by end of this lesson, you learn how to link test cases to your requirements in Tosca and you learn how to link execution lists to your requirements. So by linking your test cases and execution lists to your requirements, you will get an overview of the progress and the entire state of your project. So this is as same as, as similar as traceability matrix where you can track requirement coverage and the execution state. So now let's jump onto the system and let me show you how can you link your automated test cases and your execution list to your requirements by using latest version TOSCA 16. So before we uh, start um, linking test cases to requirements, right? So this is my Tosca 16 tool. Okay, let's let us understand very high level about the requirements. Okay, so I have already listed out all the web shop front end requirements in the requirements tab. Okay, so basically uh, we will I created requirements. Right click on top right requirements right click i created a folder requirement folder called webshop requirements under webshop requirement folder i have cre created requirement set okay webshop front end requirement set right click on the folder and this is set and this is your folder okay i created a requirement set under this again I have created a requirement okay called customer tasks so under this requirement again I have created four different requirements register login modify customer data check order in the same way handle product there are four requirements shopping cart there are four requirements order process there are four requirements okay so now this is all about the requirements i have already created requirements now to link your test cases to requirements let us first move these requirements to the split screen okay split screen view okay so these are the requirements okay and now we need to link the test cases so what test cases i'm going to link See the test cases from session 13, the automated test case from uh, dynamic text numbers and the automated test cases from uh, discount code. So I'm going to map all these three requirements, okay, to the corresponding requirement on the right side, okay. So first, shopping costs. So I'm going to drag this and drop to the calculate shopping cost requirement okay and i have linked this okay and then this payment process i'm going to drag this test case to payment method requirement okay so that is linked see if you see the test case is linked and now the discount code i'm going to map this to discounts under shopping cards right drag and drop it to under shopping carts to discounts okay i have mapped this so now we have mapped three test cases to the corresponding requirements okay and then 
it's not enough to map just test cases. We need to map the execution list, actual execution list. If you see here, all those test cases in my previous session, I have already explained you in my previous session, creating the execution list, right? I have created an execution list and where I have mapped all these three test cases to that execution list. Okay, so now we have to map this execution list to the requirement, the parent requirement. Okay, so we need to now map your execution list called webshop to your requirement set. This is your requirement set. Under requirement set called friend, uh, webshop frontend, we have all the sub requirements. This is your set. So your execution list should be linked to your requirement set. Okay. So drag the requirement set. Sorry, your execution list to requirement set. So done. So now our test cases are mapped to requirements and the corresponding execution list also map to requirement. So now let's go back to our full view of our requirements. Okay, full view of our requirements. So if you see here my full view, so based on my previous, uh, based on my previous execution runs, if you see here, we mapped one test case, under this so that is what the discounts and then we map the two test cases under order process if you see here coverage specified so that means if you map the test cases for all these four five requirements then your coverage will be 100% for now it's showing 49 because you only mapped this one hundred percent and this one is only twenty percent. Okay. And if you see here, this we mapped one more. Okay. Out of four requirements, we only mapped one. Out of which, because of my previous runs, it is showing as failed. That's why you can see the coverage of the specified requirement and execution state 20% failed 49% failed right for this requirement it's 100% fail correct so basically as soon as you map your test cases and your execution list now you can track your entire requirement state in terms of coverage in terms of execution state okay so this gives you overall traceability matrix and your overall project status also each requirement what is the coverage and each requirement what is the execution state right once you map all of your test cases to your uh, requirements and your execution list to your requirement that's it so you can simply track your entire project state based on that okay so hope you all understand the concept of how to link your test cases and your execution list to your requirements so one thing is you need as soon as you link your test cases you need to link your execution list also to your requirements because whenever i execute my execution list the corresponding test cases will be mapped I mean, the corresponding test cases will be reporting to your requirements, pass or fail, right? So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Thank you. Hope you all understand the concepts of how to link automated test cases and your execution list to your requirements. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.